Hello everyone, welcome back. For this video, I'm going to be talking about the repetitive factor, CR. So, before I start reading this, let's see what we got here. We have here a roof system. We have roof rafters, roof rafters. We have collar ties. We also have here a 3D model. We have a roof system, which consists of uh, roof rafters. We have ceiling joists. We also have floor joists. Um, and the roof rafters are spaced at 16 inches on center. Um, some people, depending on the loading, might have to go 12 inches on center. Maybe they don't have to go 16, they could go 24, right? But for the most part, uh, structure engineers, architects, uh, we like to go with the, well, mainly structure engineers, we would like to go with 16 inches on center. Um, so let me read what, what 4.3.9 repetitive member factor says. So it says, reference bending design values, FB, in tables 4A, 4B, 4C, and 4F, for dimension number 2 inches to 4 inches thick, shall be multiplied by the repetitive member factor CR, which equals to 1.15, where such members are used as joists, truss, cords, excuse me, truss cords, rafters, studs, planks, decking, or similar members with which are in contact or spaced not more than 24 inches on center, are not less than 3 in number, and are joined by floor, roof, or other load distributing elements adequate to support the design load. So let's stop that. Right. Let's end it right there. So I think the repetitive, repetitive factor is pretty straightforward. Again, the repetitive factor applies only to bending members placed in series and takes into account the redundancy in a roof, floor, or wall framing. It accounts for the fact that if a certain conditions are satisfied, we in this case, you know, if they're spaced not more than 24 inches, right, the failure or reduction in strength of one bending member in series with other adjacent members will not necessarily lead to failure. Of the entire floor or roof system because the ability of the structure to redistribute so some of the loads are gonna go for one you know if one fails then the other adjacent members are gonna pick up the slack and help out the guy so that's pretty much it for the repetitive mem member factor and I hope this video will help you out if you have any questions again don't be afraid leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.